In this Stratus Forms video, I'm going to show you how to take a Stratus Forms form and make it the default form for your SharePoint list or library. Now, when you download the Stratus Forms source code from our IT Unity channel, you get a few example forms with that source code. And what we're looking at here is the example timesheet entry form and a timesheet list that this form is stored on. So with this form, we get a people picker, so we can enter a person's name. We get a date picker. We have a drop down list that reads from another SharePoint list. And then we also have a repeating content container so that we can have repeating content in a form. And when we save this form, it tells us that it saves successfully. And we can see this form in our SharePoint list. But if we try to edit this form from the list, it takes us to the default SharePoint form. So we want to replace this form with that same Stratus Forms form. So to do that, we're going to go to our list, which is the timesheet list. We're going to click on the list tab up at the top here. And then we want to go to the form web parts and select default edit form. This opens up our edit form in edit mode. The first thing we want to do is we want to hide the default form. So let's edit this web part and we'll go to the layout and we'll set it to hidden. We don't want to delete this web part because we may want to go back and use it someday. So let's just set it to hidden. The next thing we'll do is we're going to add a content editor web part and add our Stratus Forms form to this page. So now let's link to our form which is in our site assets library. So that is in site assets slash timesheet slash timesheet dot html and we can apply that and we can see our form here on the page so now if we go back to the timesheet list and I select to edit that entry you, sh you see that it takes us to our stratus forms form but it's not actually loading our form. And that's because the default forms in SharePoint use the query string variable ID to, spe to specify the ID of the form. But if we look at the script from our example, you can see that it uses the query string variable form ID. So we need to tell our script to use the query string ID. So we'll set this up in a couple of places where we're using that to where it was form ID before to tell it to use ID now. So now that the form is set up to use the ID parameter, we should be able to reload this page and we should have it actually able to load up our form and you can see here it did. So now when we go back to our timesheet list and we select a form to edit, it is using our Stratus forms as the default form for that entry. And we can still edit this list and make our changes to it and it will still save that correctly and reload that for us. So that's all there is to it. Now, if you're a developer and you're comfortable, there are some uh, commands in the, the, the JSOM library where you can programmatically set the default forms uh, for your SharePoint lists so you would not have to go through this manual process. Or if you end up using our Office 365 application, there is functionality in that that automatically sets your Stratus Forms forms to the default forms for you so you don't have to go through this manual process every time. So that's all there is to it. Uh, keep an eye out for more uh, of these tutorial videos and we'll show you how to use Stratus Forms and get started with it.